Hello guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrapping 2 and today I'm going to play around with these brush shows. I'm sure you guys are very familiar with this product. It's very popular right now and when the color craft people contacted me and asked me if I'd like to try some out, I was super excited because I did want to try them out. I think they are super cool. And so um, these are the highly pigmented watercolor crystals, just like the Ken Oliver color burst. They're very similar. Uh, they're both in powder form. And um, I did do a product focus on the color burst. And if you like to check that out, um, I'll have the link in the descriptions below. Uh, but for today, I'll be um, just focusing on these brush shows. So these brush shows have been around for a very long time and I was surprised um, when I found out about that. They've been around for like over 35 years and that's a long time. So, um, and they have tons of colors available. They have 32 colors available total and that's a lot of colors. Uh, with these Ken Oliver color bursts, when it was first released, they released the these six colors that you see here but they just recently released another six colors so now they have 12 colors total but these brush shows have 32 colors so that's a lot of colors so I'm super excited so the ones um, on the left are the ones that the color craft people sent me to try out and uh, the one on the right uh, the 12 colors uh, was a pack that I purchased um, through Amazon. So um, just to talk a little bit more about them, um, they are manufactured in the UK, uh, Sheffield, England, and um, these right here are um, 15 grams of product in these little jars, but they do have larger jars available. So um, there's a lot of different options and you can purchase them individually as well. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, the color bursts only have um, eight grams of product in there, but I mean, these products, they're gonna last you for a very long time because they are so highly concentrated. So whichever uh, one that you decide, uh, you're gonna use it for a very long time. So the color bursts that you see here were the original colors that um, they first released, like I said. And I will show you some samples of the things that I play around with. And these are um, the color bursts. Very intense, very bright colors. I think it's pretty cool. So uh, let's start playing around with these brush shows. So they come in the little jars and um, there's no way to kind of like open them up. I mean, you can, I guess, open up the entire top, but um, it's advised um, that you don't do that. So um, what I did was I poked a hole on top with the paper piercer and I just put some washi tape on the top for now. But I am going to uh, put thumbtacks in there I think that would be a good way. So I just poke a hole like this using the paper piercer and that's um, perfect amount that um, so you can just shake it like a you know like like salt and pepper shaker or something you can just shake it on and as you can see here I'm just uh, shaking on some colors um, and then I'm spraying the water and you can see that intensity of the color and how it just spreads and creates that bloom. I really love that. And look at how bright the colors are. That is awesome. So that is uh, two colors mixed together. And you can keep spraying it and you can actually cover the entire paper with the color if you like. And that's cool. So here you can see when I spray the water first and then I added um, the powder and it kind of um, creates that little bloom. I really like that. 
So it's a good thing that I put uh, washi tapes on them, on them because um, I kind of uh, knocked over a couple of them. So if I didn't have the washi tape, the colors would have been everywhere. So um, it's you need to have a paper towel next to you when you're playing with these because um, they are so highly pigmented. Mm -hmm. uh, like a couple crystals of um, the powder will, once it touches uh, water, it is like really intense. So um, kind of, you gotta be careful. So this is a piece of uh, watercolor cardstock that I um, embossed with white embossing powder using a background stamp. So I'm just um, sprinkling on some colors and I'm going to kind of zoom you in and I'm going to go ahead and spread, uh, I mean, sp uh, spray the water and look at that. It's just beautiful, all those colors. Uh, that's actually, the colors that's on the left is a black and I, it has like not only black, but it has like other colors mixed in there. So it's pretty cool. So you can use it this way and you'll be able to see uh, the embossed image. And I think that's pretty cool. What I like about them is that um, they're a lot different than other watercolor mediums because of the fact that it kind of, it's in a powder form. I like that. I didn't do a color swatch for these um, only because I feel that uh, for me anyways I don't really need the color chart because I like um, the surprise and um, more of like a loose uh, look so it doesn't yeah maybe eventually I might make a color chart for it but uh, for now I'm just playing around with them. So this is another um, embossed piece. You can see that intensity of the color. And you, you only need to use a little bit. So a little goes a long way. And you can continue to spray more. And the colors, as you can see here, um, will kind of, if you can make it all in one color if you like. But each color is not just that one color. It does have other colors mixed into it. So I think that's pretty cool. So that's one way you can use it. There's so many different ways that you can use these. The possibilities are endless. That's why this video um, was very long because um, I was playing around with them for a long time. So here I have a stencil and I'm going to go ahead and use this stencil. And again, uh, the bottom is watercolor paper. It's, it works best with watercolor paper because you'll be adding a lot of water. So I just put like a washi tape there and um, this is um, I don't know what brand of a stencil it is, but it's a pretty flower. And um, you can see I'm just adding the uh, colors first, the powders. I'm just loosely just putting all different colors because I, I like that look. So you can go ahead and experiment with these powders and I think it's super fun. I love these. I'm just um, adding, and look at that, just a little bit of the powder and you spray the water and it just spreads. And I'm using the Tim Holtz sprayer and this thing is pretty cool because you can kind of control the spray in a way. It's a lot easier to control it. So when I spray it from afar, it just gives this uh, really cool thin mist. But you can also just squeeze it um, parts of where you want them as well. So now I'm using another watercolor paper and I'm just putting it on top. And this is going to give me a, like a mono print of that stencil. And I think that is super cool too. There's so much color in these crystals. 
just like the color bursts. And again, I'm trying to see if I can get another print. And I probably could have uh, sprayed a lot more water and could have got a better uh, print, just like the first one. And look at that. That is so pretty. I think that is really pretty. You see that? You can get two different looks just by using um, the stencil. So that is a, um, another way. And it's best to have a paper towel handy because uh, these powders can go get, they can um, go everywhere. So you do want to kind of be careful. It's a good thing I put uh, washi tape on them because I, I knocked over a couple of the pots. So if I didn't um, have the washi tape, I think the powders would have been everywhere. So now um, on top of that mono print, I'm putting this stencil. This is a stencil of butterflies, as you can see here. And I'm going to do it again. I'm going to sprinkle on some color. And I'm opening up the pots as I'm using it. So I didn't open up all of them. So I'm just deciding um, which colors I like. So if you wanted to kind of just try it out, this 12 uh, colors are, it's, it's pretty good to try that out. So I'm just sprinkling on different colors and again, I'm spraying it and you can see how it spreads. I really like that look. You can definitely uh, use this as a watercolor um, as far as you can see it's like all over my finger. It was like all over um, my hands because um, they dye your finger but you can wash it off. And again here I'm trying to get like a mono print but it didn't um, work. I think because because his stencil was a little thicker so then you can see that butterfly on top of the flowers and I think that's pretty cool and I'm spraying um, the stencil more trying to get um, all of these colors on so you can just keep playing and playing like forever And that's basically just what I did. I just was playing um, with the colors and different ways and just trying them out. And I really love them. These are fantastic. And I love the fact that it has so many different colors. 34 colors super cool it also has a white and I'm not sure I didn't try out the white but that black was really pretty because it had like so many different colors in that black so um, I'm grabbing another stencil and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing and that's basically what I did for this video. I just wanted to kind of play around and um, just have you guys uh, see the colors and what you can do with them. So I have another um, stencil here. Again, I'm um, kind of holding the stencil down with the paper piercer and then adding uh, shaking on the powder and then spraying it um, on top so just a little bit of the powder goes a very long way as you can see here super cool
So I don't really uh, make anything with this today, um, but later on I will be actually doing uh, like a project as far as like making a card or something using it. Today I just wanted to um, just play around with it. Here's another um, piece and I'm just adding on some colors. Some um, turn out better than others. But I think that embossing um, technique, I think that is super cool. And that flower stencil, I think that is cool too. I like that. So you can get a lot of different um, looks. So you can um, get these on Amazon. You can get them. Um, several art stores carry them. Um, you can find them in a lot of different places. This right here is dry embossed um, piece. Um, this is a rose, uh, embossed rose. And what I'm going to do is use a brush and then I'm going to um, just kind of add water to the embossed rose. And then I'm going to add the colors. I wanted to actually do more of this technique, but actually my uh, battery ran out. So um, I will, after um, I do the rows, that'll be the end of this video. But I would definitely um, do another video on these just so that um, I can create something with it. So um, I didn't, I don't think I added enough water. I couldn't see um, how much water I added, but here um, I'm adding the powder on top of the water. And it just keeps it in that um, area where you only put the water, just like the watercolor, they travel um, only where the water is. So this is pretty cool. And I'll definitely um, make something with these um, things that I kind of made today. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching these brush shows and they're pretty similar to the color burst and I think it's personal preference but um, I prefer the brush shows only because they have so many colors available but um, it's your personal preference I think. Uh, so this uh, was the pieces that I created today just the close-up pictures. I thank you guys so much for stopping by. And um, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks so much. Bye.